Hebrews 3, 8. Don't harden your hearts against him as Israel did when they rebelled. When they tested God's patience in the wilderness. There your answers tried my patience, even though they saw my miracles for 40 years. So I was angry with them, and I said, their hearts always turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So my anger, I made a vow. They will never enter in my place of rest. Be careful then, dear brothers and sisters. Make sure that your own hearts are not evil and unbelieving, turning you away from the living God. You must warn each other every day, as long as it's been called today, so that none of you will be deceived by sin and hardened against God. For if we are faithful to the end, trusting God just as firmly as when we first believed, we will share in all all that belongs to Christ. But never forget the warning. Today you must listen to his voice. Don't harden your hearts against him as Israel did when they rebelled. And who were those people who rebelled against God, even those they heard his voice? Weren't they the ones Moses, Moses led out of Egypt? And who made God angry for 40 years? Wasn't it the people who sinned whose bodies fell in the wilderness? And to whom was God speaking when he vowed that he would never enter his place of rest? He was speaking to those who disobeyed him. So we see they were not allowed to enter his rest because of their unbelief. Hebrews 4. God's promise of entering his place of rest still stands. So we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to get there. For this good news, that God has prepared a place of rest, has been announced to us just as it was to them. But it did them no good because they didn't believe what God told them. For only we who believe can enter his place of rest. As for those who didn't believe, God said, in my anger I made a vow, they will never enter my place of rest even though his place of rest has been ready since he made the world. We know it's ready because the scriptures mention the seventh day saying, on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. But in the other passage, God said, they will never enter my place of rest. So God's rest is there for people to enter. But those who formally heard the good news failed to enter because they disobeyed God. So God set another time for entering his place of rest. That time is today. God announced this through David a long time later in the words already quoted. Today you must listen to his voice. Don't harden your hearts against him. This new place of rest was not the land of Canaan where Joshua led them. If it had been, God would not have spoken later about another day of rest. So there's a special rest still waiting for the people of God. For all who enter into God's rest will find rest from their labors, just as God rested after creating the world. Let us do our best to enter that place of rest for anyone who disobeys God as the people of Israel did will fail. So Father, we thank you today that obeying you is having faith in you. Obedience is faith. We enter into your holy presence through the blood of Jesus Christ. We can only be made righteous in him. And we thank you, Jesus. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, in Jesus' name, we believe. We thank you. And we enter into your rest. We walk with you. And your will is for us to rest in you. Today, we intentionally rest in you. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. All of our control issues, we just let it go and we rest in your arms. Have your way with us. We are your vessels. 
your will be done and your will is rest. We thank you for this amazing news. This is for us today. And may we not frustrate you. May we obey that we may walk close to you. I thank you for the reminder that sin, you don't want us to sin. You're a loving father because it will separate us from your fellowship. And in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand, our pleasures forevermore. We thank you and we praise you for this day, for your breath for your strength, for your guidance, your will be done and your will is rest. And we rest in you. We thank you and we praise you. And thank you, Father, we choose to obey your word, your commandment of love, that we may love you with our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we may love others um, as we love ourselves. And so you have commanded us to love you, love ourselves, love others, and to apply that forgiveness to ourselves as well. And so we thank you that you forgive us. Uh, and may we confess our sins to you and turn from our wicked ways and seek your face. And we, that we may also forgive ourselves, to give ourselves the grace that you give us and others. And so, Father, we thank you that you are our dad and that you love us and you want good things for us and yet you want us walking close to you. We choose to worship you. We choose to connect with you. We choose to ask you, what do you think about this? To consult with you and to be mindful of you wherever we are, that you are with us, you are in us, we are your vessel. And may you make your presence known by us in every place, a sweet aroma. May our lives, just as we worship you, may, may your presence spill out wherever we are, Father. And we thank you for your holy written word. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for your love. And we just praise you. And may we stay in this, this connection with you throughout our day. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name.